Hi there, I'm Hans Idle, and you're watching IRL News. Yes, sexy Betty White. You may remember Betty White from The Golden Girls, where she played a befuddled senior citizen next to the gigantic B. Arthur. Or, if you're as old as me, you may remember Betty White from Mary Tyler Moore, which became Lou Grant. Lou Grant was played by Edward Asner, and Edward Asner, for all you kids out there, was the voice of Mr. Fredrickson from the Disney movie Up. You see how that all comes around full circle? Anyway, back to Betty White. Now, Betty White has had a bit of a resurgence lately. Her career's taken off due to a Facebook website, which you've probably heard about unless you live under a rock. All of Betty's fans got on the Facebook website and voted for her to be the next host of Saturday Night Live. And she did such a great job that people actually watched Saturday Night Live. Well, since then, Betty's had all kinds of great things happen in her career, including a new job on a sitcom, which you can read about on imdb.com links in the bottom bar. But, as does tend to happen with movie stars and TV stars when their careers are on the way up, bad things happen. The paparazzi might chase your car off a bridge, or if you're Lindsay Lohan you could go completely cuckoo, or, as happens to many of our bigger stars, some racy video or pictures hit the internet. And that's what's happened to Betty White. Now I don't know how many of you actually want to see racy pictures of Betty White. I certainly didn't. But, I don't make up the news, I just report it. And so, I've got the pictures. And I'm going to show them to you. But, first, for those of you who don't want to see these pictures, I'm going to put a link right here. This link will take you to the next story on In Real Life News. For those of you who want to see the pictures, though, well, here they are. You didn't really think I was going to show you racy pictures of my good friend Betty White, did you? No, I don't have those pictures. And no one should. But since you hung in there this long, here's a girl in a bikini. <coughs> Truck theft. Now I know that doesn't sound very exciting. Or odd. Cars and trucks are stolen every day. But this truck theft was a little bit different. It happened right up here in Canada. You see, some would-be criminals decided to steal a truck. That truck was attached to an aluminum trailer. Now the police figure that these guys were actually after the trailer. You see, aluminum's worth a lot of money right now so they were probably going to cut it up and sell it. That's not that odd either. In fact, it's pretty smart for criminals. No, what makes this story interesting is what was in the trailer. A tiger. And two camels. Now last Friday, these criminals stole this tiger, and I guess they've been driving him around ever since. The other day, the truck was recovered, but the trailer and the animals was nowhere to be found. Now, I don't know about you, but if it had been me, I would have ditched the trailer and the tiger and kept the truck for myself. Ah, criminals. They're so damn stupid. Get a job. Now, speaking of criminals, it says right here that Homer Simpson has moved to Australia and began a life of crime burglarizing houses. <laughs> of course, I'm just kidding. Homer Simpson is a solid family man and wouldn't be caught doing anything of the sort. No, in fact, the name of the criminal doesn't really matter. What does matter is what he did once he got inside those houses. He didn't just rob from these people. He had himself a little snack. Seems like Homer Simpson, he was partial to his Krispy Kreme donuts. And, at his last robbery, he left some DNA on a donut. And those donut-loving police officers came along and caught him. But what I really liked about this story wasn't that they used DNA evidence to catch him. It wasn't even that he ate donuts while he was robbing the houses. No, what I liked was the Australian penal system to reaction. They gave him 17 years in jail. Here in Canada, we have murderers who've gotten less than 17 years in jail. Maybe we should send all our murderers and sex offenders to Australia. Heck, they'd probably cut them in half with a chainsaw. Our last story is about a little girl named Donna. Isn't she cute? Now, Donna was born and raised in Florida, and like most children who live in Florida, her parents took her to Walt Disney World every now and then. In fact, that's where they took this picture, about 20 years ago. Now, like all children, Donna grew up, forgot about these pictures of Disney World. She met a young man from Montreal named Alex, and they got married. One day, they decided to go through their photo albums. And they looked at this picture. In the background, Alex noticed something interesting. That man pushing the stroller, that's Alex's dad. And the little guy in the stroller, that's Alex. Alex and Donna appeared in this picture together 20 years before they even met. And if you ask me, that's destiny. 
Congratulations, Alex and Donna, and have a good, happy life together. And to all of you, have a great evening and a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again next week. Thanks for watching IRL News. Get a job.